of David, David Cicilline. I thank the gentlelady for yielding and for leading us in this special order hour and for um, saying out loud the names of the individuals who we've lost. And I am proud today to rise in recognition of Transgender Day of Remembrance, which we will mark this Saturday, November 20th, and in remembrance of the transgender and gender nonconforming people whose lives were taken this year. 52 years ago, in the early morning hours of June 28, 1969, New York City police raided the Stonewall Inn, a popular gay bar in Greenwich Village. It had become a refuge and a well-known gathering place for LGBTQI plus individuals. This was the third such raid on Greenwich Village bars in a short period of time. Tired of harassment and blatant discrimination, patrons began clashing with law enforcement outside the Stonewall Inn on Christopher Street. This was not the first time LGBTQ plus people fought back, but these clashes sparked an uprising that would unfold over the next six days and fundamentally change LGBTQI plus activism in the United States and around the world. At the forefront of this uprising were transgender and gender nonconforming people like Marsha P. Johnson, the P standing for pay it no mind, a common response Marsha would say to questions about her gender. Too often, transgender individuals are left out of the story of the LGBTQ plus rights movement, especially transgender women of color like Marsha, as well as Sylvia Rivera and Ms. Major Griffin Gracie. These three eight icons and so many other activists like them were and continue to be the backbone of the LGBTQ plus civil rights movement. Ms. Major, currently in her 80s, continues to fight against the disproportionate incarceration rates of transgender people. Tragically, so far this year, at least 46 transgender or gender nonconforming people have been fatally shot or killed by other violent means in our own country. 2021 make, marks an alarming milestone for the, for the transgender community, the deadliest year on record for transgender and gender nonconforming people. Let me say it again, the deadliest year on record for trans and gender nonconforming people. This epidemic of violence particularly affects transgender women of color, specifically black and Latinx transgender women, who make up more than three quarters of the recorded 46 violent deaths this year. These deaths are horrific and we must act to end this violence. The right to live freely without fear of persecution or discrimination is one that every person needs and deserves. The Equality Act adds sexual orientation and gender identity as protected classes through existing civil rights law, ensuring that the transgender community would have the same protections as everyone else. And I am so proud that we've passed that out of the House and it's awaiting action in the Senate. The 2021 Transgender Day of Remembrance House Resolution, of which I'm a proud co-sponsor, commemorates November 20th, 2021 as a day of remembrance and memorializes the lives lost at the hands of anti-transgender violence in the United States and around the world. I urge all my colleagues to support this resolution. Now is the time to show solidarity with the trans community. They have done the work to bring injustice wrought against the LGBTQI plus community to light, and they bear the brunt of violence, abuse, and even death. It cannot continue. We must not let it continue. So as we remember the names of the transgender individuals that gave their life for this cause, we honor their legacy by continuing the fight to ensure that all people, regardless of gender, gender identity, are treated equally and justly in this country. The forces working against progress are strong, but we are stronger. And I want to thank Congresswoman Newman for being one of the co-chairs of the Trans Task Force of the Equality Caucus for the good work in developing this resolution and for leading this special order hour tonight. And I thank the gentlelady for yielding, and I yield back. Thank you, Congressman Cicilline, who is an amazing champion for the Equality Act and 